First and best, and after me come all the rest to act a play that's full of action, love, and the death of the resurrection. So let's continue with our story. Step in, bold Tom, in all your glory. In comes I, bold Tom, a brisk and lively chap. I've come to taste your finest ale, which I have heard is rather good. A pint, or two, or three or four, but who's that knocking at the door? Who's that knocking at the door? <laughs> in comes I, the farmer's man, don't you see? The cap in my hand. A team of horses I command. I plough the field and work the land. My face is lined. My back is hunched. Cause someone stole my ploughman's lunch! <laughs> in comes I, a lady, fair of face, the fairest lady in all this place. I love Tom, and he loves me. What a happy couple we shall be. Good people, can you tell me how I might escape this ugly woman? In comes I, the recruiting sarge, strong as an ox and big as a barge. I'm here with orders from the Queen to find recruits for the Marines. A shiny shilling I will pay to anyone who'll join today. But if no heroes will advance, strike up the music and I shall dance. What, you dance? Yes, we dance. <laughs> what can you dance? The jig, the jitterbug, the bop. Why, once I start, I never stop. <laughs> Baggy underpants. Why should I wear baggy underpants? Because they're good for ballroom. Ah, get off with you. Come. And now, <laughs> now, my lads, a chance you've got to join the army and get to see the world. You seem too likely, lads, and willing to sign up now and take the shilling. Join the army? That sounds fun. I've heard you even get a gun. Well, there, my lads. The deed is done. You're in the army. Attention! By the left, quick march. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Here you go off the board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dizzy. <laughs> Come on, lads. Let's get going. Ah, uh, Tom, typical man, completely bore me, off to join the army. Mm. I'll not waste my company charms. I'll soon find myself in someone else's arms. In comes I, Beelzebub. Over my shoulder, I carry a club. In my hand, a frying pan. Don't you think I'm a jolly fine man? No! My head is made of iron. My body is made of steel. My arms and legs are knuckle bone. No man can make me feel! What? No man can make you feel? I said, no man can make me feel! Well, let us see if that's a fact. Excuse me, lady. There. Take that. Is he alright? Well, hmm. <laughs> the worst, well. <laughs> Sorry, I got complacent now. <laughs> I'm now left all alone or something like that. Yes, yeah. Well, once again, I'm, I'm all alone. <laughs> I need, I need someone to call my very own. Uh, would you marry me, my dear? Well, it looks like you're the best I'll get, I fear. Uh, would you like to um, name the date? Tomorrow morning, half past eight. Then how happy we shall be. <laughs> because... And I'll love you. And you'll cook tea. Oh, dear. <laughs> Away with you. In comes I, the local police. I've had a report and a breach of the peace. I'll put down my drink and run to the crime. No evidence here, someone's wasted my time. 
But while I'm here with my shiny truncheon, which of you stole the ploughman's lotion? Now back to the <laughs> back to the station to finish my drink. Call me again. I'll throw you in clink. In comes I. No win, no fee. An accident to you is commission to me. So, if you've tripped on a slab or bumped your head, been hit with a handbag and fallen down dead, it really doesn't matter if anyone's to blame. I make more profit than you if I handle your claim. So, now that policeman's gone back to the station, just sign this here form if you want compensation. Come on, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Wait, leave that man alone, he's dead. Or you'll feel my truncheon on your head. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm frightened. I gave this man a hefty clout. Uh, we better call the doctor out. Uh, five pounds for a doctor! Ten, Ten pounds, pounds to spare! Uh, Fifteen pounds! There's a dead man in the house! Twenty pounds is my fee! Plus carpet tax and VAT. In comes I, a doctor. You a doctor? Yes, me a doctor. How be you a doctor? By my travels. And where have you travelled? Oh, through Italy, Sicily, Germany, France and Spain, twice round Goten and back again. What can you cure? The itch, itch the, the stitch, stitch, the palsy and the gout, the pains within and the pains without. And if a man has 19 pints of preservation in him, I can get fair 20 out. But this man has fell and bumped his head. Can you cure him? Or is he dead? He doesn't look too bad at all. I think the ground has broke his fall. Now, let me see. I had to wish that. Yeah. This man's not dead. Not, not dead. dead. Not dead. <laughs> He's merely unconscious. Merely unconscious. Merely unconscious. I'll give him just a drop of whiskey. Just a drop. <laughs> Maybe that will make him frisky. <laughs> oh, the pace of medical advance. Rise up, old man. Let's see you dance. <laughs> well, our play is done, we've done our best, and as I think you may have guessed, we are not the humble actors that act upon, upon the stage, we, we are the honest working folk that work for a little wage. Good masters and good mistresses, as you sit by your fire, just think of us poor ploughboys who plough through muck and mire. Oh, look at that. We brought, we you, brought you cheer. We brought you and brought you cheer. We have. 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 We and God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year.